We are going to continue from where we stopped. We are about to update a country, and for now, we've been able to display we've been able to display the modal pop up. But for now, there is nothing in there. So uh, this is exactly where we are going. We want to display some items, uh, selected item in the pop up. All right, so let's go do it. If you are joining for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. As if you also skip the previous lessons, please go and do them. So basically, what we are saying is that when you click on the edit button, we want to uh, find the, the the particular item that was clicked by ID. So what it means is we are going to go to the service and write a function to return uh, a particular uh, country by ID because we want to return only one single country, the one that was clicked. So I'm going to say get by ID. I'm going to say public. This time we are returning country, country find by ID. And it's going to be in teacher ID, right? I don't know if I'm getting it, but let's see. And uh, return country service, country repository dot find by id there should be a find by id method find by id good so this is what we should have all right okay so now the next thing we want to do um okay so let's see where this error is coming from so let's correct it so it's going to be kind of optional i think let's say this is int so it doesn't it don't take so much space int lowercase so this is going to be optional country. So change it to optional country so that in case there is null or it doesn't find it, it will still work without crashing the program. So as usual, we are also going to go to the controller and simply write exactly the same thing, uh, find by ID as well. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to say, this time I'm going to say public and it's going to be string because we're also returning the same page. Uh, find by ID and um, it's going to be it's going to be um, integer ID or int ID as a case may be okay so I'm going to just say int at this point int ID and I'm going to say country service country service dot find by ID ID, all right. So at this point, we have why do we have this error? So we are going to return it. No, we are not returning it. So we are going to return a redirect. Um, are we returning a redirect? I'm going to say we are going to actually return that item. So we are not redirecting, we are just want we just want to find this item and use it to populate the, the, the model pop up, right. So when we find it, we are not refreshing, we are not redirecting. When we find it, we simply display the values on this model pop-up, all right? Uh, so that is why we are going to return it. So I'm going to just return it. Uh, let's see. Return. Okay, good. Uh, it's changed to optional, and that is fine. Okay, so I think everything is fine. So we have our find by ID method at this point. So the question now is how do we uh, put how do we do the mapping? So I'm going to say uh, request mapping. So you can actually use either get mapping, post mapping, or request mapping. So this time I'm using request mapping at, at countries countries slash find by ID. Okay. Um, hope we are not missing out anything. Hopefully not. Okay, so this is a get. It gets a single item. Okay, so once it gets this single item, we want it to return uh, not as JSON, or want we don't want it to redirect to a page that will display a JSON. Okay, so we we'll simply want to return it and capture it uh, on the pop up. If we if we if we don't put this line I'm going to put now, which is, I'm going to response body. Okay, what am I even saying? So, so we want to return it as a response body, okay? 
Okay, so good. So this is what you should do. Um, find by ID, and that is fine. So basically, when we click on the edit on the table, when we click on this edit button, uh, we want the href, we want the href uh, to go to that uh, URL and find by ID. So I'm going to say th href is equal to, as you know, I'm going to use at, and let me close this. Now you need to be careful here because when when we are trying to do find by ID, we also want to pass the ID across the ID of the item that was clicked. So I'm going to say first I'm going to say slash countries slash find by ID. All right. So I'm going to say slash, and at this point I'm going to pass. Sorry, this. I'm going to pass the ID that is selected. So I'm going to pass it as ID because this function find by ID requires uh, an ID as parameter. So we are going to pass this ID as parameter as a request uh, variable or as a URL parameter called ID. So I'm going to say equals ID is equal to uh, the country that ID. So um let's, uh, let's see country i'm going to enclose country dot id i hope i'm getting it okay fine so we are making a call to this url and we are passing um the id of the selected value to this url across to this url okay okay so i'm going to kind of test it let's see uh, where we are. So at this point, if I hover the edit button, I should be able to see that it's selecting the ID of the country because remember the countries are of different items, of different uh, records, different rows on different countries. So for the particular row I select, it's going to get that particular ID, right? So let's try. So let me run it, okay? All right, so I'm going to now come back here. Hopefully, I've not broken anything. Let me test that this. Whoa, what happened? Okay, let me refresh again. Okay, so now we are having some problem. Um, okay, we have an error here. It says, cannot could not pass the expression at countries, find by ID. Okay, so we have an error in the page. So we have at slash countries slash find by ID. Then we have ID is equal to, okay, we also need, we also need a dollar sign at this point for the ID. To get the value of the ID, we need a dollar sign just like this. So this is what we are trying to get. So we need a dollar sign. So that is where the problem is coming from. So I'm going to just run it again and let's see. All right, so I'm going to refresh this page at this point. Okay, so everything's, everything is okay. Now, what I want you to notice, for now, let me test and see I've not broken anything. I've not broken anything. I click on the edit, everything is fine. So if you, oh no, so we're gonna handle this later. So now you can see, look at the uh, the lower comp at the lower left corner. You can see the ID is equal to, you can see it's changing ID is equal to one, ID is equal to two. Of course, if I click on it, it goes to, to the page. It displays it as a JSON object and you can see how it goes right here. So we've been able to get the country by ID. Now we want to be able to display the, the ID, uh, the, the data on the model. So instead of taking us to this page, we want to display it on the model pop-up. So to quickly do that, I'm going to first go to, I'm going to go to my JavaScript. 
I'm going to go to my JavaScript at this point. So I'm going to simply put a line that says prevent default. So prevent default is simply going to prevent it from going to the JSON page. So I'm going to say events dot prevent default. All right, so I'm going to save. I'm going to run it again. So I'm going to run. So at this point, I will not expect it to open a, a second page because that's default behavior. So let's see. So I'm going to refresh at this point, and if I refresh, I go to edit. So now, okay, it still goes to the page. That is fine. So what we are going to do now is we are going to make a a, a request, a REST um, API call to the the to the to the endpoint and actually fetch these items and then display it on on the on the on the on the on the on the form on the on the component. So we are going to use uh, get to get the, the values of the items uh, that was uh, we are we are going to make a get request to to fetch this item and then um, display it on the form. So that will be the next part.